Uh, good day, guys, girls, and uh, people who watch this channel. Uh, I haven't been really back on here in a while, but I thought, you know what? I'll come back to the channel. Um, this is really a channel update since I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, pretty much what's happening is I haven't uploaded games and stuff because I haven't really had the time. So, I've been going to railroading of the Western Australian Government Railways, um, you know, scale, which is SN 3.5, which is a replica of the 3 foot 6 inch track, so it's the narrow gauge. Um, and I've just been so busy with other things, I just haven't had time to upload game clips and things, and play new games so I've decided you know what, I'll take I've, it, I took up um, model railroading as you can see there's some videos of the southwest trains running in the background on my television um, but pretty much the the aim for the channel at the moment is what I'll be uploading is S scale stuff and um, things around from Perth to so like Perth train station photos from Perth the railway museum um, Amra, you know, in Bayswater, and pretty much I'll just be uploading that. I'll upload a few videos tonight if I can get them all compiled together, but um, I'll show some photos. I don't know if they'll come through clear, but um, I'll show some photos of the PM kit I've been working on. This isn't my kit, this is the one that's been formally completed to complete these photos, so um, they will just contrast what it should look like uh, when it comes to the PM uh, that I'm working on. I'm currently working on um, a model which is about this long of PM 706 which is now owned by Hotham Valley under the name Narogen um, and it's owned, well, it's owned by the Apex Club in Narogen but Hotham Valley has it in their hands at Pinjarra. Um, but yeah so the channel update is really is more railway photography um, modeling and other things um, and I'm working on a layout up in the roof um, it's going to be modeled either off Perth train station or something like that I'll quickly grab my, my designs uh, of a yard and then a really early um, drawing of the Conversion to, I don't know if you can see that, conversion to standard gauge uh, towards East Perth line. And then I still haven't finished the actual station part yet. And then here's the towards the old yard where now RAC Arena is. Um, I drew that all myself and I think I'm thinking about using that but other than that um, I'll be working on a layout up in the roof to run my S scale and um, double O gauge stuff because um, to run S scale it, there is certain aspects to it especially in um, SN3 because the radi the curves have to be a certain radius um, which I'm not going to get into detail with but um, yeah, I'll show some photos, and I'll show some photos of what I'm going to be talking about um, once I edit the video, it will pop up on the screen. But um, yeah, I'll show some on the telly, and uh, get back to that. So um, I'm not sure if you can see these, but here we have some, if I actually zoom in, uh, here we have some model photos of the PM. Um, they're pretty much the PM is a locomotive which was designed by Bayham Peacock uh, during the early 1950s to do passenger runs originally. Um, but it got used for freight because the independently sprung wheels created an uneven running, you know, for passenger use. So that's the PM. This is it completed. This is not mine. This is just a, a kit standard. Um, photo that the club had completed 
uh, as you know reference imaging. Uh, the PM is a very nice locomotive, but it's one of the harder ones to actually. Uh, one of the harder locomotives to actually model. Uh, when it comes to modeling the PM, it's quite a uh, tedious little process, especially with all the cabling and brass pieces. But honestly, I'm not going to complain about it because it's worth it. Um, anyway, I'll get back to talking about the next part of this informational video. Anyway, as I was saying um, before, before I got uh, went and showed the um, PM, uh, pretty much what's happening with the PM is um, it's pretty much taking up most of my time because I'm having to build on top of another model's chassis in that. I think that's the PM right there actually, or a PMR. But, um, that's a PMR. But, um, yes, yeah, so I've been really busy with, you know, my models and the club at the moment because I'm part of AMRA and there's a lot of things going on at AMRA at the moment. We've had an exhibition, which you may have seen me run trains if you went to the exhibition at Mujibang. Um, you know, I've been constantly tweaking 3D printing stuff in my prototype smoke generator for um, locomotives, for S-scale primarily. Um, but I've also been doing some railway photography, which I'll put on screen right about now. Um, Pretty much, it's just more Perth train station, East Perth, Midland, whatever. I haven't done any Midland photos because my camera has been playing up. Because um, usually I use um, a Kodak film camera, but um, for some reason the film doesn't want to cycle through. So, I have to get that fixed. I mean, I could fix it myself, but I just don't have the time at the moment. I'll get to that. Um, so pretty much, I'll go through more photos here, but... You know, I've been taking photos at East Perth and Perth train station. I've got some videos as well, which is for another video. When it comes to model railroading, I'll be uploading a lot more videos as well. Um, which, I mean, isn't isn't bad because it's quite, quite interesting to learn about. Um, but the, the layout that I'm working on is going to be quite quite frustrating when it comes to designing points because I've got so many points, signals and switch tracks in there, it's not funny. You know, I've got the yard, I've got loco sheds, I've got stations, I've got lights, I've got everything. It's just setting it up that's going to be the problem. So that's why I haven't really been on YouTube uploading uh, for a while. I've just been so busy when it comes to that, but this channel update will be pretty much, it, pretty much this channel update is just detailing what I'll be doing instead of what I usually do. So I'll have um, videos from the railway museum and other things, um, but other than that, it's 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 a pretty pretty fun hobby getting into railroading and stuff and photography like I don't usually do much photography like outside of school but now that there's things to take photos of like trains and things like that I'll start taking photos you know cars trains boats trucks whatever as long as it's got meaning like trains you can see with the videos they're quite quite beefy machines I'll just zoom in on that I think that's green mount right there but um yeah like you know you got to document the stuff before it goes out because if you don't document it you ain't gonna see it ever again so I'm trying to do my bit but that's why I haven't been uploading on YouTube so uh, hopefully this is a bit of more of an insight of what I'll be doing um, considering that I usually upload games and stuff like that. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Um, just leave me feedback on, you know, on the videos when I upload them. Uh, 
uh, even if they're a bit boring just leave some feedback and just tell me what I can improve on but other than that um, thanks thanks for watching this or whatever and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy my new content so